Well, I think you guys can see pretty clearly that we have got a substantially large Burmese python. What a cool find. So this one is actually just making its way along the top of a little uh, gully here. And I can't believe I'm able to get here while it's making its way out. This is very, very cool. I would say this one's probably about two and a half meters, but quite thick. Uh, possible, it's a gravid female. A little bit difficult to say. But this is definitely the first one I've seen this year. And they're always a treat. I actually, uh, I think I'm gonna be able to get up around in front of it if it keeps moving slow like this and see if I can maybe get a shot of the head. So bear with me for a second and I'll give that a try. All right. Well, it just so happens that I'm in a position to be pretty close to this Burmese and there's a little bit of a ledge in front of me. I gotta watch out because it might be getting ready to give me a turnaround but I'm pretty sure it's just gonna try and move off. But this is some pretty amazing footage we've got here. Um, yeah, these are just... Alright, well, I'm actually able to get pretty close. I've got a, a different lens on. Uh, this is actually my macro lens. I was taking uh, pictures of some bugs. And it just happens to be a pretty great lens to get nice detail up close on a giant snake like this. So, yeah, I mean, I'll try and give you a rundown. Here's the head and running down along. We've got the body cinched up against this little concrete layout here. And you can see it goes off down that way and along to the bottom. Um, these are Hong Kong's largest species of snake. I think it goes without saying. And they're a constrictor, so they like to grab their prey and twist and squeeze them until they die and then swallow them whole. And this is a very typical marking on the head here. You can kind of see the arrow shape marking. Very typical of the Burmese. Uh, there's another snake in Hong Kong, much smaller, called the many spotted cat snake. And it's brown with um, dark blotches, kind of like the Burmese. So sometimes people think that full grown cat snakes are baby Burmese but they have uh, slightly different head markings, actually meaningfully different head markings and far different dimensions. But this is, uh, this is pretty amazing that this thing has stopped here. I, I'm not sure, it doesn't seem very nervous. Normally if they're nervous, they're rattling their tails or trying to move away, uh, but it's definitely aware I'm here. So maybe it's just trying to figure out what I'm doing as much as I'm trying to figure out what it's doing. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty phenomenal. I'm gonna try and get a little bit more video and then maybe grab a few photos and see if we can check back in before it heads off. So Burmese, awesome find. All right, well, the Burmese is slowly making its way up this slope. Um, it's kind of taking a break now. I've been trying to grab a few quick headshots while it's on the move here and a few body shots as well and It's really really calm. I don't think it's uh, I can't say that it's not bothered by me. Uh, I think of course it's probably gonna be happier when I go away but You can see here. It's starting to make its way up there's the body there. My light's not going to carry me too far down, but 
you can see the body goes down the slope and it comes up. And it, it's always a little bit trickier to estimate the length on a Burmese like this because I think for its size, it's actually quite uh, chunky, really well fed. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's a really, really interesting animal. Really kind of fun to be able to just be walking alongside it and have it not really flipping out or striking or hissing or anything like that, which, I mean, normally there's kind of stages of defense for a Burmese. If they're really unhappy and you're really too close and you're really threatening, they will strike. Uh, they do hiss very, very deeply and very, very loudly. They also will rattle their tails a little bit and they're also known to musk and defecate and it's quite pungent too. So this one not showing any of those behaviors other than maybe slowly trying to work its way away from me. But really, really interesting. I'm actually going to walk around the other side and see if I can give you a better angle on its body as it slithers away. But very, very cool to catch this. I've actually started the walk out as well and it's only been the wolf snake so far. So this is a pretty big uh, second hit here. Okay, well I was backing down the hill and then it did the same. I'm not really sure what its plan is, but here's the body a little bit more clearly. You can see the tail kind of goes under this ledge here. Down there. And he is slowly making his way, or she, hard to tell around this rock now. I'm just going to reposition one more time. All right, so I'm on the downslope from it now. And this is the snake. And I actually think it's not quite sure where it wants to go. Um, you can kind of see it trying to move here but I'm probably just going to move away from it in a few minutes and let it make its way out. Um, I think it's maybe a little bit confused with me here on what to do and I don't want it to flip out or slide down the hill or anything like that, but really uh, quite an impressive animal. And like I said, very cool to be able to spend so much time with it. They're usually right off into the woods, so this is pretty great. All right, we'll drop it here, pick back up if we find anything else.